uh, an hour before raw goes on air on the USA network the next week, Rick rude shows up on nitro. Mm -hmm. He walks to the ring with the NWO. He shaved his beard. Now he's just got a mustache. This is uh, of note because raw is a taped show. And he's going to appear on that program with a beard on the same day. And I think as Bruce Pritchard has explained on his podcast, something to wrestle that rude was just working a per night deal. He didn't have a traditional contract, so he was within his right to do this, but maybe you guys found out when you saw him on nitro. Is that the way it went down? Yeah, that was for me for sure. I can't speak for everybody, but it was for me. I didn't, I, 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 I knew his deal was a, a like a day laborer. You know, he was per event type thing. Uh, but you know, it's hard to, it's hard to believe that we made such a big deal out of this for a guy that can't take bumps. Right. And so I, I was wondering, what did we lose? Nothing. You know, uh, Rick was a, uh, at one time, one of the biggest stars in wrestling, but he had that bad back and he couldn't take bumps uh, to any degree. So, uh, but that's the first time I heard about it. It was like. My God, did you see what just happened? You know, and, but it was just another, here we go again. This, this the never ending story of uh, turmoil and intrigue and all that stuff. So I, I was just God almighty. I just praying for the day that we could get past this shit.